whistle to his lips and Paul Johnson gets his underway. Billy Clifford volleys out to the left hand side to challenge Gallagher. Gallagher jumps well, heads it down to his right back, Briggs. Briggs, in fact, a right winger dropping deeper. These are the sort of players that they're going to have to watch out for in moments like that because they can be dangerous. And we even saw a run there from Taylor. As Billy Clifford lunges into a challenge on Niall McManus and wasn't a particularly good one. Don't really know what was going through Billy Clifford's head there. Billy Clifford just in conversation with the referee today, Paul Johnson, his assistants, Paul Barber and Ollie Davies. Billy Clifford and Jake Andrews stand over this free kick on the left wing. Three white hawk shirts in the box at Osler, Collins and McCarthy. In it goes towards Osler, flicked on and just evades the right foot of Collins at the back post. It looked like it would have been a tap in for the Hawks player manager if he had just been able to get a toe on it but instead it's behind for another Hawks corner. Referee thinks they took a touch of a Hawks player. Hitting really wide, line breaking pass through to McManus. McManus on his bow on the right hand side forcing a shot towards goal just misses Ross Warner's right post. So Andrews from a, with a free kick, midway inside Dorky territory, out to Collins, Collins back across the area, McCarthy thinks about the overhead kick, still loose, can read force a shot towards goal, tries to lay it off to Andrews on his left foot, deflected away, still alive for the Hawks on the right wing. Andrews with his back to goal and looking for an option, throws it through to Clifford, Clifford 18 yards from goal, drills one towards the hands of Lincoln and no one's there to tap home the loose ball in the area. Dorky can escape through Briggs, can they counter attack? The lime green shirt streaking forward, big tackle comes in from Osler, referee says it was an illegal one. Sheedle throws to Pryor who tries to spin round Benny Reid, able to clean up is Jamie Collins, Tommy Wright will run it down Gallagher, Wright sneaks round Gallagher, Tommy Wright, he's in the penalty area, he's one on one with Lincoln, still going right, can he finish it off? No, he misses it somehow, he did all the hard work, cutting in from the right hand side, but when the goal seemed to open up for him, he looped it past the post. Time to play, but he plays a 1-2 with Cheadle, which just opens up a little bit of space for Old Acre. Drifting out to the left-hand side, still into by Billy Clifford, who's on a yellow card. Clifford could be in trouble. Oh, surely not, it's gonna happen again. The Hawks could be down to 10. Clifford, 25 minutes into this game, has been given his marching orders, and it was getting so much better for the Hawks. Finally, it looked like they were building into a game. They had a foothold, they had a platform to build on, and Billy Clifford lunges into a challenge on Old Acre, and it's a nightmare again for having to Waterlooville. Josh Taylor out to Fuller on the right wing. Fuller looking for another cross towards the hands of Warner. Getting a touch on it is Wheeler and touching it home into the bottom right hand corner. Well, the ball came in from deep from Fuller. No one was there to try and block the cross. When it came to the edge of the six yard box, Wheeler just toes it into the ground and it bounces agonizingly past Ross Warner into the bottom right corner. It's the 11 men of the Wanderers that take the lead against the 10 men of Hamilton Waterlooville. Deja vu for the Hawks, a man down and now a goal down. 1-0, Dorking. Collins, Osler, McCarthy, Roberts, Wright, all grouping themselves around the edge of the area. Towards Jamie Collins it goes. He's beaten to it by Jason Pryor, his former teammate. Back out to Jake Andrews on the left wing. Andrews just turns his way past Briggs, looking for a cross towards Collins. Collins, edge of the D, slide back into Andrews. Andrews in the area, left-hand side of the box to McCarthy. McCarthy misses from six yards away, just screws it off his foot and out behind for another Dorking Wanderers goal kick. For that earlier goal, McManus to Briggs, back to Fuller, looking for again that cross from deep, instead switched it down the line to Briggs. Briggs towards the near post, headed in by Jason Pryor. Pryor steals in front of his man, flicks it on into the bottom left-hand corner. Hawks are down 2-0 now, and it's Jason Pryor with his third goal against the Hawks in the space of five days. Dorking to get us underway at the start of the second half, shooting from my left to my right, Hawks from my right to my left and it's spread out onto this right-hand side with Fuller. Fuller driving forward, not really meeting any white pressure. Fired into Alfie Rutherford. Wanderers looking to get this second half started quickly. Pryor laid back off to Gallagher. Gallagher to Bobby Joe Taylor. He's in that left half space, looking to whip it across towards the head of Rutherford. Flicked on by Pryor, straight into the hands of Ross Warner. Another dangerous chance for the Wanderers early on. Only in district leagues. Sent in towards Rutherford at 18 yards from goal. Rutherford trying to force another goal against the Hawks. Edge of the area, laid back to McManus. Dribbled towards the post, off the right-hand post, but dropping loose to Wheeler, who blazes it over. And out behind, Ross Warner goal kick. Really should have been three. But Pryor gives it straight away to Roberts. Can the Hawks take advantage of that mistake? Roberts drifting left of centre, towing it towards Jake McCarthy. But McCarthy can't get on there. Tommy Wright picks up a loose ball. Wright curling one towards goal. Under the bar and in. What a strike from Tommy Wright. They have one back. Tommy Wright opened it up on his right foot. 
25 yards from goal, whipped it under the bar, bar down, back of the net, Hawks one, Wanderers two. Right flank this time with Benny Reid, nowhere really for him to go, has to go backwards to Josh Pasley, but they're keeping the ball. Pasley into right, right, just dropping deep to pick it up, still going forward as Tommy Wright, out on the right wing, tries an effort from range towards Shane McCarthy, McCarthy lunged at it. I don't know if that was a cross or a shot from right, but it almost found Shane McCarthy. Matt Drabble, Adam Nixon, your score. Dorking Wanderers two, Hawks one. Here's Josh Taylor, edge of the D, left footed effort, straight at Ross Warner who punches it away. Might drop loose to Fuller. McManus heads it back, all the way back into the centre circle where Bobby Joe Taylor will switch the ball out to the left hand side again. Fuller, won again by Joe Osler. How many times have you said that? Briggs bringing it in from the left wing. He's got a little bit of space here, Briggs. Laid it to McManus. Is that curtains for the Hawks? I think it is. McManus tucks it under Warner and into the bottom right corner. It was a fantastic reverse ball by Briggs. McManus had made the run from midfield and slots it under Ross Warner and into the back of the net. Dorking Wanderers three, haven't a Waterlooville one. He's just saying again when he considered three goals that someone on the back line would get man of the match. I'm going to agree with you. I'd give it to uh, Joe Osler and then that will do it here at the Draper Tools Community Stadium. Haven't a Waterlooville fall again to Dorking Wanderers. Goals from Nick Wheeler, McManus and Jason Pryor and Haven't a Waterlooville really cannot seem to find their feet on home soil. Discipline, they're down again. Your final score, Dorking 3, Haven't a Waterlooville 1.